During times of stress, live theater has been out front, enhancing community, relieving anxiety, and pointing the way to better futures. Now, of course, audiences are sitting in their homes, and theaters around the world are shuttered. Cal Shakes, California Shakespeare Theater, has canceled its entire 2020 season. The final plays from Bay Area companies of the 2019 to 2020 season have already been canceled or will be canceled as social distancing most likely continues into the summer. But live theater does go on, or at least recordings of live theater, which can be seen accessing your Roku, your Apple TV, your smart television, or your laptop tablet, or cell phone. In the Bay Area, ACT's two shows, Gloria and Tony Stone, are still streaming this week. Tickets can be purchased through late in the day, April 3rd, and streaming ends on April 5th. Go to act-sf.org for more information. Magic Theater is offering a daily mini-podcast with various playwrights through SoundCloud. Go to magictheater.org. Shotgun in Berkeley is planning a series of podcasts of plays and artist interviews. For more information, you can go to shotgunplayers.org. Theater Rhino has been presenting live one-man productions with John Fisher on Facebook Live, including streaming his recent show at The Marsh, Radical. For more information on what's available through Rhino, go to therhino.org. Moving outside the Bay Area, London's National Theater is streaming free, one play each week, all week, starting this Thursday with One Man, Two Governors, starring James Corden, followed on subsequent Thursdays by Jane Eyre and Treasure Island with Twelfth Night beginning April 23rd. You can find those plays on the National Theatre YouTube channel. Terence McNally, one of the first casualties of COVID-19, is being honored by L.A. Theater Works with an audio-only recording of Lips Together, Teeth Apart at latw.org. A 2018 documentary on the famed playwright called Every Act of Life is available at Amazon Prime, which also has film versions of The Ritz and Frankie and Johnny and a documentary on his play Corpus Christi. The Public Theater in New York is streaming its free Shakespeare in the Park production of Much Ado About Nothing at 13, spelled out, dot org. The Metropolitan Opera is streaming free one opera a day from its 14-year series of theatrical recordings, starting at 7.30 p.m. and continuing to 6.30 the next day. You can go to the Met Opera On Demand app on Roku, Apple TV, or Samsung Smart TVs there you click Browse and Preview, or you can click Explore the app on tablets and cell phones to access the operas without logging in. For dance fans, alvinailey.org is streaming full-length works, dance classes, and short films. Moving into subscription services, you can watch plays first aired on Great Performance if you're a KQED subscriber on the PBS app. Many of those same plays, plus many more, can be seen on the Broadway HD app. That app has a seven-day free trial period before paid subscriptions kick in. Amazon Prime is a pretty fair selection, though you have to go down several rabbit holes to get there. Netflix is more spotty, focusing mostly on film and TV shows. YouTube also has full performances and recordings as well. For now, we all have to live day to day and keep our fingers crossed that we will have live theater back on the boards in the late summer and fall. I'm Richard Walensky on theater for KPFA.